Okay, so opening files uh, in uh, Creo from NitroCell is extremely easy. Uh, if we open up our current uh, directory here, you can see that we've got all kinds of uh, files within our directory, but we have nothing in session. Um, to do this, we need an Excel execution worksheet from NitroCell. And you'll see here all of the commands that are available to us and all of the object types that we can manipulate. So if I want to open a particular model, I could just simply uh, scroll down and do open and model. You can also type it in manually, like so. Um, and then we just need to give it a name. So the color indication here indicates that we need a, a name for it. So I'm going to type in uh, basket.prt and say do it. And it will open it up in, in Creo. Uh, if we change it to, let's say, a cone and open that, you notice that a cone opens up. Now, uh, we're dealing with the active session of, of uh, Creo here, so everything that I've done up to this point is kind of additive, meaning if I've told it to open something up, it's it's still there in memory. For example, that basket was open first and the cone is open second. Um, let's go ahead and erase uh, model display, and let's open up an assembly. Uh, test this one at ASM. Open that up. And you can see that we have our test assembly. So let's um, erase that. And uh, just to make sure we don't have anything in session, we'll take a look here. Now let's do something really cool and do a wild card. So we're going to open up all of the parts at the same time with one line in Excel. So when we do this, it's going to open it up, but nothing shows up. Uh, the reason nothing shows up is that we didn't specify a specific file name. So where did they go? Well, they actually loaded directly into memory. Uh, within Creo, and then we can do cool stuff from here.